We've all heard of the five second rule. Get to the cookie within five seconds and it's good to eat. But is there any real science behind that? Let's go find out. Free cookies in the name of science. Cookies, anyone? Hello sir, how you doing today? Good. I'm offering free cookies to everybody at the park. I hope that's not too weird. I'm so, in. All right then, here's your free cookie. There's one catch though. Gotta eat it off the ground. That's the five second rule, so it should be good, right? You, you keep it. One free cookie for you. Wh whoop! Let me get it for you. That was less than five seconds. You wanna eat it now? No. I ain't been that long. Don't eat that. It's fine. No, it's no. not. That's gross. It's nothing, no. You see the crumbs? It fell on. <laughs> Don't eat that. It fell on the ground. So is she right? Or is he right? It depends. The five second rule is really the 30 second moisture and surface rule. When any food flops on the floor, small amounts of bacteria will jump aboard immediately. But moist foods left longer than 30 seconds collect 10 times the bacteria than those snapped up after only three. E. coli, salmonella, and listeria love wet environments. They absorb water for the nutrients they need to grow and multiply. But moisture isn't the whole story. Rugs transfer fewer germs than linoleum because the little tufts have less surface area touching the food. So, is the five second rule legit? Yes! Wh whoops! If you drop that cookie on dry ground, you should have plenty of time. People walk on here. I made dirt and dirt don't hurt. That's gross. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> you guys have a good day. <laughs> the next time you see a rocket scientist toss his cookies. Anybody else want free cookies? Free cookies! Take a bite. Time is on your side.